So this is what the fan should look like inside. Can we see? Oh, lovely. And this is what we have on the current one. These are all the pieces that's already fallen out, but this is just so jammed. There's another piece. It's all completely crumbling. And since we're here, we've got the mold inside there. And another thing which is slightly worrying is these baffles here, and they should be lying flat. And this rubber tube here is where the gas comes from the gas valve. This connects to the gas valve, and you can see cracks on this tube. It's not in good shape. This boiler needs to be changed. So this, just to show you the state of this boiler, you can see the state of that gas valve. So there's been a lot of moisture here in the past. You can see all the rust on the top of the inner casing now. It looks like you've got mold in there. If you look closely here at the back, there's signs of leakage on the back of that right hand manifold. There we go. You can see the scale. So that right hand manifold has been leaking. I don't know whether the scale has somehow sealed it up because it looks dry at the moment, but that's maybe because the boiler hasn't been running since yesterday. Automatic air vent. At the moment, our fan here is completely jammed. So it's not turning and obviously the fan is the th first component on the startup sequence so i've tried jump starting it which didn't work so we have a new fan here but only then once the fan starts will we know if there's any other issues uh, as explained before the board is in a bad way and hasn't had any attention for a while apart from my last visit but i don't recommend spending to get this boiler up to shape it would cost near enough the price of a new boiler and this boiler being of its age i would strongly recommend replacing it but i will choose the plan now